Hi, Simon here from Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions. Today we have a Delta RPI Home Inverter. And if you have a look on the screen there, it's coming up with EO9, no grid, and the alarm light's on. If it's coming up with an uh, EO9 emission issue like this, and the alarm light's on, your inverter's not working, so you want to take action straight away to work out what's going on and get your system back in action. Now, when an inverter says no grid like this, it means it's not detecting any power from the electricity grid. So there's a couple of things you want to check first. That is your solar supply main switch in your switchboard is turned on. You also want to check, make sure you're not experiencing a blackout at the time because if you've got a blackout going on, if you've got no power at all from the grid, then it's, uh, it's going to be totally normal for it to come up with an issue like this. And also, if your inverter is not installed beside your switchboard, quite often, well, you should have an inverter AC isolator just like this one here. So you want to make sure that's in the on position as well. So another thing you can check is that the AC plug into the inverter is in nice and tightly as well. If that was hanging out, you'd be coming up with that issue as well. So look, if you've checked all those things and everything's as it should be, you are going to need the help of a solar accredited electrician to work out exactly what's going on to fault find the issue further. It may be a problem with a circuit breaker like this, it might be a problem with the cabling somewhere, it might be damaged, it might be a problem inside the inverter. And they'll have to do some fault finding to work out what's going on. And if you've got an issue with your Delta RPI home inverter and you're on the Gold Coast or South East Queensland, don't hesitate to get in contact with Gold Coast Solar Power Solution. We can certainly help. Thanks for watching this video. I hope it's been helpful for you.